All right, friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you some Minus Astrology for the 29th of February 2024. It is a leap day on a leap year. We've got, uh, it's not a new moon or full moon happening now, but we have a transit happening with the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn all happening in Pisces I want to talk about. Now, this has been going on since Tuesday. Uh, maybe you can say Monday if you if you want. These have all been beginning to line up, and they've been coming into focus, and and all still connecting and the reason i'm talking about today on this 29th is because the moon is also coming in to join this equation this little uh cosmic soup here and we got a lot of water energy so of course we have neptune the heavy hitter that's been in in pisces ruler of pisces for years which is our dreams and things we want to manifest things that don't make sense to this physical world the non-physical stuff right Belief and prayer and creativity and imagination, dreams, uh, the non-physical stuff. We have Mercury here, which rules our mind and our communication. Our mind and communication. The sun, which is a representation of ourselves, how we're showing up into the world. This is the operating system of our computer and the computer itself, you know. Uh, we don't have to talk about our ascendant right now as the sun kind of represents both of these while we're traveling around the zodiac. Uh, and then Saturn here is the can be looked at as an authoritarian, authoritarian figure. Um, I'm going to, you know, it's like this is the laws of reality is Saturn, the laws of reality. I often say it's it's like how much pressure can you put on the table? You know, if it says the table can take 500 pounds, if we put 600 pounds in, there's another law, another force of nature that's going to take over. And it's Uranian energy. It's that breakthrough energy that the table is no longer going to be a solid, safe structure. Saturnian words, it's going to break, right? Um, so here we have our mind, our, our mental stimulation, ourselves showing up. And then we have Saturn, who is trying to make sense and create structure in a place that structure doesn't exist. We're talking about like deep space, Pisces energies, like very deep space, right? This is, this is the oneness of all things. Now, Saturn energy is very opposite of Piscean energy because Saturn energy is like, yeah, we're, we're all one, but like, we're not, you know, we, I can't lift weights for you. I can't read a book and you gain the knowledge. I can read a book. I can talk about it, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's a self individual uh, process, this journey of life. And the Neptunian Piscean concepts or energy is that we're all one, we're all connected. You know, it's like the, the deeper healing that I do on myself is connecting to the world. So me taking time to go to the gym, to, to center my mind, to focus on my breath, and create this, uh, you know, repetitions for myself to gain better health and, 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 you know, agility in life. So that then, then there is this concept that me doing that work actually is adding something to humanity or sitting down and meditating is doing something for the group, right? So these are, these are very different polar kind of concepts. There's one, again, you have to do the work, the other, we're all connected in this oneness. So here we have this authoritarian concept, though. It's saying we have to be the ones behind the driver's seat. A feather in the wind is simply going to be blown, right? It's going to be blown around with no direction. Uh, and you are the one behind the driver's seat. You are the authoritarian in your life. You are the ruler, the master, the creator that's behind the wheel, behind your own eyes, right? You're the one that's, there is no universe without mind entering into it first, now, this is extremely important when we're talking about this particular conjunction here happening because Pisces is also about evasion. Pisces rules the 12th house in the Zodiac, which is mental health, right? So this is like a mental health day, the day that doesn't exist. You know, this day exists. I don't know who's saying it doesn't exist. But, um, you know, this is all mathematics. The, the Zodiac is all mathematics. Time, this is mathematics. We can debate, you know, these things. But it's just mathematics. So anyway, this day exists, and on this particular day, we're having these interesting conjunctions happening that are going to be challenging for our minds. We might be feeling extra pressure. That's something Saturn does. Saturn creates pressure, right? We're turning coal into diamonds. It takes a lot of pressure. And when there's a lot of pressure, and then there's this wanting to escape, 
okay? Evade. This is the natural energy of Piscean energy. Neptunian Piscean energy is escape and evade. And we can escape and we can evade by avoiding conversation. We can be avoiding conflict, avoiding communication of any kind. We can be avoiding reality. I just want to escape reality. I want to sit here and play video games. Or I want to escape reality. I want to um, do drugs, right? I want, to, I want to not feel this pain. I, don't, I want to not feel this pressure. I don't want to think about these things. So it doesn't matter. So we can very easily put ourselves in a sense of aloofness, you know, and, and then especially with the moon here, I'll come back to the chart for a second, especially with the moon now creating this trine to Saturn, the sun and Mercury, we're talking about the depths of our emotions, my friends, right? Uh, deep, deep emotions, sex, money, power, Scorpio. This is the stuff that we're not necessarily talking about surface level conversations. This isn't surface level communication. This isn't surface level thoughts, maybe not surface level actions. So then we have to, we have to take some time for ourselves, a little bit of breathing. Okay. Our, this, because we're ruled right now by our emotions. Our emotions are just running the show and our emotions aren't necessarily the real reality. We have to be able to separate our emotions from our outside world. So a good way to connect with life again, to you know, connect with nature, like going for a walk. I mean, it's a little bit brisk here in Detroit right now. It's sunny, but it's brisk. Like on Tuesday, when this conjunction first started, it was like the nice, it was like 70 degrees. It's like, oh my God, do I have to cut the grass in February? <laughs> but anyway, so it's like going for a walk outside, uh, taking some time for yourself to meditate, taking some time for breath work, yoga, going to the gym, exercise. If there's any sort of ceremonies happening in your area this on this particular day, this weekend, um, seek them out, you know, some ecstatic dance, connecting with uh, your breath, connecting with other people, connecting with your body, moving around. Um, anything like that, any sort of rituals or, or practice or group gatherings, I would highly recommend it. As well as if you need to take time to isolate for yourself, that's not a bad thing. Take time for yourself, um, but as long as it's not necessarily in, in that same sense of escaping. Because there's another energy right here that's, that's extremely important, and that's Mars and Venus together in Aquarius. Okay, so why I'm saying that it's not necessarily sitting by yourself is necessarily the medicine right now is because Mars and Venus, Mars is what you, uh, your actions, this is putting one foot in front of another. Venus is what we love, want, and desire. And the two of them together, this is a conjunction as well, only four degrees apart, a um, little less than four degrees apart in the sign of community, Aquarius, and knowing. This is saying that that these communications, when we muster up the strength, the integrity, the authority within ourselves to have some of these deep, heartfelt communications, they're so very necessary for ourselves and for the community at large, right? Nobody has to suffer in silence here. We're in breakthrough territory, transformational, right? Pluto has now entered the 11th house as well. So this is like huge changing of the community. Maybe, maybe areas that were like, you know, this is like what's coming through right now. It's like things that have happened in the past and oh, this, this is like a repeating, you know, it's just like, it's not a circle. These repeating patterns, they're not circles, they're spirals, right? So they spiral out. So we could be thinking, oh, this is something similar that's happened in the past or these similar emotions or feelings or whatever may be coming up. Um, consequences, things that I have to deal with may be coming up right now. And the last time that this happened, it ha this is what happened. And so we, we learn by our, our past behaviors. We learn by, well, this is what happened last time. And this was, this was the result. And I don't necessarily want to repeat that result. So how do I have the hard or necessary conversation without having the same result? Well, we can assure ourselves that it's not necessarily the same person. If it's the same person, it's not the same it's not the same set of circumstances, the same set of circumstances. It's not the same time frame. So this is a different water under a different bridge. And, and that has changed. Again, this is a spiral out. So whatever communication is, is, is going to happen is the necessary step in the equation. It's the necessary medicine that's going to happen. And, and the fact that Mars and Venus are together, it's saying, follow our hearts, follow our hearts. And, and, um, not the anxiety, not the emotional anxiety, just because you feel it doesn't mean it's there. 
Um, and being able to connect with other people during this time, connecting with other friends, connecting with others, again, whether that's, that's through this communication or whether that's getting out and connecting in the community, um, either way, that's, it's, that's the good medicine. That's good where we're at right now. So don't feel afraid that, uh, don't feel afraid to communicate. Don't be afraid to speak your hearts. Don't be afraid that, that you're going to repeat history again and again. It's the same set of circumstances. The same thing is going to happen. Um, allow things to unfold, right? We don't get to control those. We don't get to control the outcomes, but our minds, we want to predict it because we think of, you know, logically, it's just like, well, I push the domino, the domino falls over. But emotions aren't like that. People aren't always like that either. We grow and we expand. So we're not as mathematical. <laughs> Our emotions aren't as mathematical. You know, that's why it's not necessarily logical. Our emotions aren't necessarily logical. So we could be feeling things that are illogical to feel today. And there's a, could be an intense amount of pressure that's, that's going on right now. And there could be this, this sweeping moon going through Scorpio that's it's reflecting this cathartic release. Yeah. So whatever communication needs to happen, whoever you got to connect with, however you got to boogie, however you got to shake and dance and move some energy, uh, nobody suffers in silence, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you, whatever, whatever this energy is, share about it. Oh, last thing, last thing. Okay. Look, we got Chiron in the North Node <clears throat> conjunct right now as well. And this is going to this is going to continue to happen throughout the weekend. This is going to continue to happen throughout the next week. Um, this is a perfect, this is about healing. Okay. And this is saying, this is us going forward in this direction of healing. And in Aries, this is about self. So healing of self. And of course, Aries here is how we deal with community, how we deal with information, how information is given to us and, and how we deal with it. Right. So this is like this, the ball is in your court. The ball is in our court here. Again, you are the authoritarian. You are the one behind the driver's seat. If you want to hit the gas, hit the gas. If you want to turn left, turn left. If you want to go right, turn right. Hit the brakes, whatever it may be. You know, but, but don't run from whatever you're feeling right now. Don't run from whatever you're feeling because whatever we put underneath the rug, it's just going to come back up later on. You know, so we have this really wonderful opportunity right now, and especially with this North Node Chiron conjunction at the same time as this happening, we have this beautiful energy to, to like be assertive. You know, and, and again, take take the responsibility that we need to, to, to sweep it up, talk about it, clear it out. Cathartic time, huge, huge opportunities today, my friends. Have a wonderful leap day, leap year, 29th of February, 2024. I love you. I wish you enough, and we'll see you next time.